348 and 352. Both of these were owned by a guy named Meyer Zunder, and you can read about uh, Meyer's, Mr. Zunder's life and achievements in our uh, in our book and in our tour brochure. I'm, I'm not going to go over all of that, but uh, I just wanted to say a couple things about him. Before the 1850s, public education in New Haven, as in most places, was very, very primitive. It was very poorly funded. There were no professional standards for teachers or for curriculum. There were no graded schools. Like, there was no fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade. It was all just kind of like one room schoolhouse type stuff. Um, gr girls were often excluded, and there was racial segregation. So it was not a very good situation. And then in the mid-19th century, you begin to have these uh, prominent educational reformers, people like Horace Mann and Henry Barner, who's from Connecticut. These are big, big names in the 19th century educational reform uh, movement. And they're talking about, they're, they, they want to clean up the mess that is pu American public education. And people like Zunder, who was a uh, German, German Jew, member of Mishkan Israel, he was elected to the New Haven School Board in the 1860s. He serves for 20 years. He begins to apply these reform ideas in, in New Haven to modernize, professionalize our school system, to abolish segregated schooling. Zunder is a big pro proponent of that. The state uh, does that at the, at the state level in 1868, uh, and to increase public spending on education. So Zunder helps to make New Haven one of the better school systems um, in, in the state. And in our, uh, the Jewish Historical Society has a series of publications, Jews in New Haven. The first volume of that, Jews in uh, New Haven, uh, volume one, which is edited by Jonathan Sarna, who's a, you know, a famous American Jewish historian. There's an excellent article about Zunder uh, by the late Dr. Barry Herman, who is not only um, a past president of the Jewish Historical Society, but also a renowned uh, educator in his own right, and someone who, uh, I think, by his own admission, took a lot of inspiration from the, the progressive pedagogical philosophies of, uh, of Myers over.